What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Married Movie Challenge. We're back again um, for our special Shark Week episode. Um, so all throughout the scenesnobs.com, all of our shows are Shark Week themed this week. So make sure you're checking us all out on all our live shows. Schedule's up at the scenesnobs.com. Mm -hmm. um, so I am your host, Mick Manhattan, and joined with me, as always, is Mary the Mommy, Mary Manhattan. Hello. Um, and how this works is we kind of, we bet, or we don't really bet, we kind of yeah. choose going back and forth. It used to be right. pick a name out of a hat, but now it's, we're going to go back and forth. Yeah. Uh, we got tired of me winning all the time. So I really, fair. really did. I really did. Get, I was very tired of losing and not watching what I wanted to watch. Um, but I, it was my turn this time. That's true. And for Shark Week, I made her watch Jaws 4. Yes. Yeah. And it was pretty interesting. It it was something. You, I think I roped you in with Michael Caine being in it. That's true. I love Michael Caine. That's true. And he was amazing, as usual. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, so basically, Jaws 4, if anybody hasn't seen it, it follows the Brody family, all grown up, without Martin Brody. So the storyline not only follows the Brody family, but yeah. the shark also follows them. Yes. From where? New York? No, they're in... Uh, no, um, originally... Amity. Where is that? No, they're in Amity, Maine. which is up in... No, it's New up England. in the island, like by... Uh, was it Cape Cod and things okay. like that. So Up in there to... The Jamaica, I think. They're to right. the Jamaica? The Jamaica. So to <laughs> Jamaica. That's what it's um, with Or the Bahama. Some... Well, it definitely wasn't Jamaica, <laughs> even if it was Bahamas or Jamaica, it definitely wasn't there because everybody there, nobody was actually from no, right. Jamaica or the Bahamas. None of the actors, right. like, I mean, Mario Van Peebles is the only one that really had an accent, right? Um, which right. was amazing to me. But anyway, it follows, it kills um, one of the Brody boys and yes. follows Ellen Brody all the way down to the other Brody boy in... Uh, <laughs> oh, and Michael. she senses him. She can sense the shark. Yes, and she and she has flashbacks of things that she wasn't there for. Yes, which yeah. is pretty impressive. She knows exactly what her husband said to the shark in the mm -hmm. first one, yep. um, right before she says it. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, you can tell, you can say suspension of disbelief. Okay, maybe he just told her, he was like, hey, I said a really cool line before I blew up that shark. Like, so while they were just hanging out and, like, the, you know, in bed smoking weed or something. Um, he's like, hey, guess what I did? You know, guess what I said to that shark before I shot him? That wasn't uh, the only part that she remembered, though. Like, I know. And <laughs> she remembered so much what he wasn't there for. Maybe the power came from her shoulder pads. Oh, God. The shoulder pads were fierce. So 80s. So 80s. It was amazing. Um, it was something. Yeah, I mean, but it is. They have to, the shark has to be out for them. It's called Jaws 4, The Revenge. Correct. So there has to be some revenge element Correct. to it. Um, Not the people taking revenge on the shark, but. And shark. it's, <laughs> but I don't know what the revenge is about. Like, because all the sharks that they killed were different <laughs> in every movie. I know. They killed every shark, so. Why is it like a brother? Oh. That should be the next one. The next one should explain the relationship between all the sharks. Maybe it's, of all the movies. Maybe that. Maybe they we did. Could do it in like cartoon. Even if they did it in like they cartoon, did. they did. No baby shark. <laughs> it has now told the story of what Jaws is all about, and each one, you know, we have four. So now baby shark has to come back for revenge. Uh, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this movie I have a soft spot for because it I was watched entertaining. It, it, yeah, it, I watched it a lot on HBO when I was a kid. Yeah, and it <laughs> it was not the worst movie I've ever seen. There was a lot of suspension of disbelief. How about that banana boat scene? There's nine thousand people in that water. There's like 72,000 people on that beach. none of them did anything to that shark. I know. They were innocent. It went right for that banana boat where <laughs> his daughter was. Um, it was pretty intense. It, the whole movie, I was on the edge of my seat. 
And then, of course, Michael Caine had to survive. He, we would not, it, it would not be okay. If he did not survive, I would not have liked this movie, to be honest. Well, I love that. I'd I, go for a ride on his airplane with him. Yeah, I bet you would. Okay, Ellen. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I will tell you this. It is interesting to me that he took this role because it was a paycheck. Yeah. He was like, I guess I need a new Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Um, and he went for it. And I don't blame him no. at all. I don't blame any top actor for taking and it's a role. I mean, it's an iconic series. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it wasn't just some campy movie mm-hmm. that he decided to take on. Like, it yeah. really, it, yeah. And I love, I'm going to spoil it because it's a 30-year-old movie, but I love that everybody pretty much survives. <laughs> <laughs> like Mario Van Peebles comes back out at the end and he's okay and yeah. like the one death at the beginning which was which the was catalyst the blood, yeah. To, yeah of the whole thing that was yeah. the revenge part but and then I like how she destroyed the shark didn't shoot it didn't blow it up nope ran the boat into it ran the mast into it with the side oh my god um anyway I Joe's for again will always hold a special plate in my heart, place in my heart but what did you think well, I mean, like I said, I think it was memorable. and um, Was this a challenge for you? Was this part of the marriage? It was challenge? a challenge to watch it all the way through. No, it really wasn't. I mean, it it kept my attention. Mm-hmm. It was fun to make fun of parts of it, like the shoulder pads and, yeah. you know, kind of the storyline. The terrible the accents. Thing, the terrible accents. Just some of the campy lines in it. Um, but no, I thought it was entertaining. So Good. All right, well, yeah. I'm glad that you at least found it entertaining. Yeah, it was, that's, that's the top priority here. It was no Jaws. No, it was no, not at all. It's no Jaws, no Jaws 2, or no Jaws 3. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, so that's our uh, our take on Jaws 4, The Revenge. Um, I did, I challenged her with a bad movie, but... We'll see what happens next. We'll see what The Revenge is. Yeah. Oh, for God. challenging me to this movie. Um, so we'll be back hopefully soon with some more Married Movie Challenge. And our... If you have a movie that you want to suggest yeah, for absolutely. us, we'll um, take suggestions. That, yeah, definitely. And uh, look out for our podcast, Marriage Like That podcast, coming back yep. after a long hiatus. Yep. Um, and we have a very special guest on the uh, coming up in a few weeks, so mm-hmm. that's going to be a lot of fun. Um with that being said, this week, like I said, is Shark Week. We also have Star Trek Week coming up the first week in um, uh, in September. And September 10th through 13th, we are proud sponsors. The Wait, what is it? Did you say Shark Week or did you say... Star Trek Week. Star Trek Week. Star Trek week. Uh, that's first week of September. And then Sharks we, on my mind. Yeah. We are proud sponsors of the um, uh, Skyline Indie Film Fest, which is going to be uh, coming out uh, starting September 10th through 13th. So make sure you check it out there. It's all virtual this year. Uh, there will be links on all our social media. I am at the scene snob, so you can follow me anywhere there. Yep. So, all right. Thank you. Happy Shark Week. And until next time, happy Shark Week. You're Be right. safe out there. Take care, everybody. Bye.